De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. Only of if and Queen Naomi are rumored to have fought silly as, you know, the only of if tried to change her accurate accommodation. Allegedly, as we are hearing it, um, um, they are saying that because of this thing with this pastor that um, um, came into the picture right now, um, a pastor that we heard that it's not as if he is forcing Olori Naomi um, to do anything. We heard that they have been friends. We heard that the man uh, in question had said that it's not somebody that is even knew in the life of Olori Naomi. Allegedly that the man had even said a year ago that he will wait for Naomi till the end of time, if that is what, what it would take. And he went and, you know, this, um, when it was um, time for Naomi's birthday, they said he came all the way from Canada and wanted to, you know, celebrate with Olori Naomi. And um, that was when we heard allegedly that there was a proposal and they said Naomi did not even agree to the proposal. From what we heard, they said the ring fell to the ground and it was even Simi that picked the ring allegedly. Now, before now, uh, the man has been coming and going um, 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 into the Akure house, not like... As a matter of fact, um, we heard that there's even nothing going on between this man and Queen Naomi. You know that kind of relationship where a man is your friend and a man likes you so much as if his life depends on you. And this man loves, the man admires and, you know, wants to be with Queen Naomi. But of course, uh, posterity is not allowing them to be together because of the things that are happening in the life of uh, Queen Naomi. We are all aware, and this man also, Ademi Joe, as we are hearing, that his name is, um, is, a, is also Yoruba. Even though he is born again, he understands that this woman was married to a king and he knows that um, it's not going to be that easy, especially when the king has not, you know, given the woman the go ahead to go on with her life. So as we're hearing um, um, uh, what is going on right now, uh, he proposed, and uh, the proposal did not work. Um, um, did not did not go through because Olori Nami seems to still be in that place where perhaps I don't know. She has not. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Okay, but right now um, they said Oni of Ife was not even around when uh, he heard about this proposal allegedly. They said because of the news he had to cut his um, uh, journey short to return back, and that since he returned back. That has been all, you know, um, it's almost something that looks as though it's putting too much on your commuter on um, Olori Naomi, like something that looks like monitoring and all of that. And he is saying that uh, Naomi needs to move from the accommodation. Now, Nami is living in a house in Akure where he's living with his mother. And uh, uh, the brother who is married seems to be living uh, somewhere around the same house. It's a family house. If you have been following the trend, you know that Queen Nami is a woman that is closely knitted with her family. And Simi and other ones, they are all living in the same house. And to them, it's a family house because they said it was during um, the rain when um, Oni of Ife and uh, Queen Nami first got married that they acquired, Oni of Ife acquired that property for Olori Naomi. And then it was, it has always been like their uh, a country home and all of that. So right now, there have been no arrangement of changing that accommodation. The accommodation is such a beautiful accommodation. If you have been following Nami, you know that Nami has this. Nami has spent money to put that accommodation together, like fix everything. Like the um, interior is beautiful, the exterior is beautiful and everything. And she's really, really content to have that accommodation in Akure. But as we are hearing it, they said that immediately that proposal um, um, uh, happened, the news of the proposal broke out that the proposal did not go through. I don't even know how Oni got to find out about this proposal because me, myself, I am thinking that it's not everything that needs to be out there. I may be a blogger. Um, I feel like, you know, some of these things do not, because the man did not propose in public. For, for what we are hearing, they said it was the man's family that were there, that the man was very, very excited. 
that um, the man's mother, who happens to be a prophet, of a prophetess was there. The man's younger sister was there. They said the younger sister is in the University of Lagos. They said she has another sister who is a fashionista, who is married to a very wealthy man in Benin. The sister was there. They came with a lot of stuff because the man had uh, prepared for this proposal. And so, apparently, um, uh, 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 the news broke out from them, maybe, or what, because I do not, I, there's no way I would think that that news broke out from uh, Queen Naomi's side, or maybe, just maybe, but you never can tell. Right now, they say since Oni got back, Oni has been somewhat apprehensive. Oni is saying that he has bought a new accommodation, a new house in Akure for them that they need to move. Now, the house in question that we are hearing that Oni is saying they bought um, is a house that is big enough and has a lot of facilities for um, um, uh, guards, okay? This house where Queen Naomi is staying, the guards, they, they just have two um, uh, security um, houses. Um, one security, the other side, one security, this side. Like, no one wants two security houses, okay? And they have some, some guards who are always going back and forth with Queen Naomi. Now, they said oh, oh, um, overnight, Oni is saying that the house is not secured enough. He does not want Naomi to continue to stay there with her Denikawo, that they should move, that he, oh, he, he understands that Naomi will always want to move with family. And that is why he got them such a big apartment so they can move from where they are. And they, and they said, Naomi is saying, like, what? As how? You cannot just be moving me from one place to the other. This is my country home. I love this place. I love where I am. And you cannot come overnight and just move me. It is not possible. I am not going to move. We can continue to run like this. Nami was actually in her house in Lekki from what we heard when Oni of Ife, you know, um, finished fixing the royal mansion. They asked Nami to move into the royal mansion. And she moved. Now, you could see that. The um, Nami's house in um, uh, Lekki, they said that most of the things that were in that house um, happens to be some of those things that are right now inside the palace. Because when Nami got, got angry the other time and decided she wanted to leave the royal mansion, people started jumping at her left, right, and center that uh, she needs to give out her own Lekki mansion. That if she did, never had a house in Lekki, that there's no way she would jump up every day. She wants to leave. She wants to leave. Uh, a lot of well-meaning people who know Naomi didn't like it, and they are, um, advise her. So what happened was, with the arrangement of her returning back to the palace, they now started removing some of her things from her own Lekki mansion, her own personal um, um, mansion from Lekki, those things that cannot enter a Kure, and they moved them to the palace, you know, um, um, as they await her returning to the palace. Allegedly, that is what we are hearing. Now, they said um, her mansion in um, Lake, um, in her own house, the one that belongs to her personally in Lakey, that is up for grabs, like not to be sold as in to be rented, okay? They said they are set, um, renting that house for about, um, I don't know, a whole lot of money. So, right now, this is what is going on. Um, um, uh, okay, so why is the owner of Ife wanting Nami to leave her Kure house? They said allegedly is because he um, does not have control over what happens in, um, in that house in Akure. They said that the reason why Oni wants Nami to leave that house right now is because Oni is under the impression that um, that guy is always coming there. Their friendship is right there in Akure and all of that. Oni wants Nami to move into a more secure place. Oni wants Nami to move into a place that belongs to him so that Nami will not have the audacity of bringing that person there. Are you hearing what's going on? You know that that guy cannot visit Nami in Lekki Mansion, right? Because Lekki Mansion belongs to Oni of Ife. But that guy has the right to visit Nami in um, Akure. And so because Oni knows that he has no control over what happens in the house in Akure, they say that is why he's trying to move Nami there. So Nami will, be, will uh, go to a place that belongs to him, where, of course, by right and by tradition, that guy has no right to come close to that um, place. And they say that is exactly why Oni is trying to move Nami from Akure to another Akure house. And they say this thing has caused a lot of problems that was bad between Oni of Ife and Queen Amio over change of accommodation. That is not a small thing. Because Nami said she is not going. 
that KBSC has no right to be pushing her left and right like that. That is not acceptable. That she will never, ever let that happen. That she's not moving. And KBSC is saying that now we must move. And you know that it will not be fair for KBSC to try and force them. Because, of course, it's not when you say now we must move, it's not only now me. Naomi is closely knitted to her family. This is about Naomi and, you know, the entire family. And you cannot just get up any day and want to move them. What do you think about this? Just put it down in the comment section. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.